smaller drain line then. <laughs> and the ledges are really unfortunate for both characters, I'd say, because you know Fox gets to do less angles, has less up. Oh, and he... That's the beginning. So many magicians in this tournament, Jesus Christ. All those foxes turning up their jets now. Wild. You know? Two wave, shi wave shines and then... Bing. <gasps> but, oh, but and Lian, Ooh, he's he got does something the same. Up his sleeve as well. Oh, and what he's the hell? got some two zero to deaths in a so, row. Uh, Those guys got something for themselves. Imperfect was really mad that you know he's he just did the fox thing, but it took him like five times as long to do it. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe not as many button inputs. <laughs> They're trading stocks, but now. So now we see very good reverse back air. Very nice. And rinse and repeat again. Ryzen really good at edge guarding Sheik. And again. So if if all goes to plan, now Imperfect has to zero to death him again, right? I mean <laughs> <laughs> I mean he wasn't a zero to death last I'll I'll stock, give Imperfect thirty percent and then yeah, I'll kill yeah. him. Okay, let's go, let's see. So let's see if they follow the script. <laughs> Shh. Don't tell him about the script. Oh, yeah. And uh, looks like... It, it, he does, though. No, no he doesn't. People He's throwing up their arms in, uh, in disgust. He kills himself. And that what could have been a tie game, mm. looking very difficult, especially now that he has to get Fox out of crouch cancel percent twice, mm -hmm. which is really hard for Sheik. I'm going to uh, abuse the old uh, hashtag doable, though. Yeah, of course. It's not over. Ooh, but catches the roll in Ryzen. Oh, yeah. He's not slowing down anytime soon. It hasn't really turning up right now. And oh, that's a oh. brave thing, but he doesn't get punished for it. Instead, he gets a shine. He's so confused by why he would do that that he just didn't punish it. Mm -hmm. And that's the beauty of melee. <laughs> Ooh, but I think that's, yeah, that kills to the side. Blip, blip, over. <sighs> Game one goes to Ryzen, but gotta say, it would have been a little bit uh, closer if Imperfect didn't SD. Yeah, so for sure. I'm pretty sure he, he's not too shook about it. He knows he can do it. And now on his counter pick, he's gonna try his best. So now again, we're probably gonna see, uh, I'd say, Dreamlander Battlefield again. So yeah, here we go. <gasps> it just runs in straight up. Oh, and that way, there he was a bit slow on the. Oh the grab. The last hit forward air. That was cool. Oh, but that was good. Ryzen forgets to crouch cancel on it. He fully abuses the up tilt. Ooh, but the get up attack. Because that probably could have been a conversion. Oh, but the down tilt. Such a good new uh, tool by Foxes that they use to really... Uh, it's just a di such a disjointed and long range move. And Pop him up and see what you can get out of it. And especially if you DI away, then it usually tends to be somewhat straight up. And if they DI in, even easier. There we go. We got the classic edge guard situation again. Oh, but this time he's going out for the catches the early jump. Nice. And imperfect. That's the second one, I think, right? Or the third one on the shine spikes. So really, Ryzen making good use of the shine spikes here. This is his go-to. Oh, thing here. but and that is and that is a stock. You know, one needle is all it takes. A pineapple. Oh, but Ryzen is up. Yeah. Let's see if he can. Bring this one back. Ah, oh, nice needles. It's an imperfect, really. It's a quick drop through. Oh, nice. That was a nice mix up. The air dodge to the ledge. Oh, but good spot dodge. But the Ryzen quickly re retaliates with a SDI down. Yep. Tech. Ooh, it's an unfortunate trade and okay. imperfect nose. The best way to regain stage control when you're offstage is to just use the blast zone and then teleport invincibly back to the middle. <laughs> <laughs> I've not heard that one before. And then you even lose all your percentage. That's pretty, yeah. pretty no, OP, actually. That's I mean, you can't use it that often, but it's still a pretty good tactic. Okay. <laughs> So two stocks for Imperfect. Ryzen, well, since we're talking about scripts, remember how uh, and and Liam, how Imperfect had VSD, was losing the game, yeah. and now Ryzen returning the favor with that pineapple. Mm -hmm. So true gentleman of the game. 
if you didn't know what the pineapple is, you might have a better look at the uh, bottom of the stage, which looks like a waffle cone or even like a pineapple. And, and if you get, get stuck, stuck down there, there, there yeah. you, they've just seen it. But oh, he what knows a call out! Yeah, yeah. And I think that that could be death. But yep. Good call out, and one one in the series between. I would say for first and second seed, they're pretty evenly matched, so they're mm -hmm. definitely good set right here. Yeah. I'm happy good to see a game three here, and we're going to FD. Oh, FD, okay. Nice in. So, in the words of fellow Berlin uh, townsperson, <laughs> another color switch. Sorry, but yeah. Oh, again the color switch. Oh, you're right. It's actually. So let's see if maybe he can he can use the power of the color switch just like Vision did. But uh, for FD, Uzleon, mm -hmm. a fellow Berlin uh, resident said that he describes Sheik on FD against Fox as a Greek tragedy. <laughs> okay. He says Tell it is more. so horrible that uh, he, he's at a loss. He's yeah, no, as we said before, no platforms to work with Ooh. for Sheik. The straight angle, so good. But you know, Sheiks, they can do it. In, in NTSC, it's obviously a bit easier because you know of the regional differences with the grabs. Mm -hmm. Attack tracing is more prominent on FD. Yes. So Sheiks, they do have to go for hard callouts on the dash, on the DI away. But and Leon doing a, uh, imperfect, sorry, doing a really good job right here. But Ryzen evens it out. I've heard Ryzen uh, worked on his posture. Looks like it worked. Definitely. Still a bit hunched, but way better than what he used to be. Yes. Now we see, again, catching the landing once and again. Really abusing Sheik's landing problems as good as it <laughs> can. That was long. greedy. That was, he buttered that up smash way too much. Gets the next one, though. That was a good conversion from the Weakener. Also very underrated kill setup by Fox. And kind of falls asleep on the wheel again. <laughs> up, misses the waist shine. Gets stuck in his shine. Oh, and good double jump by Enlia to not get his jump called out again. And good stuff. And I, oh, what good angles by Ryzen. He's been really being able to find all these good recovery angles and really extending his life. Oh. Oh. Very good stuff. And Imperfect kind of shaking his head. Nice edge really. this. FD is really getting to him. And Ryzen, he knows what to abuse on this stage. He tries to go for a Sammy Nair where you slowly fall down with minimal lag. And oh, it gets hit reverse. And he really needed that. Oh! oh. It hits him with a 2-2. Two -two. That was nice. That was, that was a really good mind game. Really Love good to mind see game. that. So, last stock for Imperfect to, to show that he's uh, a seat below. <laughs> Let's see if we can make the comeback happen, even on FD. Oh, and that was a good idea. Maybe. Oh, and what a... <laughs> The script again, he just does it the roll read back to him again. Nice. This is gonna be get, getting harder and harder for Imperfect to get something done here. Wow, and good DI. Oh, Last and again. Life now. Oh, and I think wow. <laughs> Opt for the shine. And now this yeah. <laughs> so good stuff by Ryzen. Proving erupts. he's worthy of title as pool leader. And Let's go, Frank! Bavaria nice. hyped, Berlin not so much, but Imperfect still gets to go to bracket, second seed, and let's see what he can work his magic there. So, we have oh okay. God, another Bavarian here. Flower Snail. Flower Snail, yeah, he's, a, he's our best link player. <laughs> 